exactly llama drama, but very close. The alpaca extravaganza is happening all weekend long right here in Denver. Denver 7 Sarah Bingham spoke to some alpaca enthusiasts about what draws them to these unique animals. Not the usual side hobby, not, not really. We both have day jobs. Um, I'm involved in the tech side of the world and my wife is an executive assistant. No, 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 not my day job. I'm a therapist. It's kind of addictive once you get into it. I didn't know what an alpaca was three years ago. And here I am three years later. We're at uh, Alpaca Extravaganza 2019. We started just two years ago with five alpaca and a llama and it just grows exponentially. They're kind of a therapeutic animal in some regard. They're really easy animals and so it's just they're fun. You get out there and they're just calming. It's good stuff and good therapy. Day jobs can be stressful. There's Everybody has stresses in their job. It's also fun to come home at the end of the day and just do some chores that you know you don't do in the work world. They're, they're cute and cuddly and you want to just take them home but there's a lot to learn. It's also nice to come home to animals who just kind of want to cuddle up and we have some that give us kisses. We have some that really wouldn't kiss you if you paid them, you know, but they all have different personalities. So it's just kind of therapeutic being around them. They're a lot of fun. It feels really comfortable. It feels more natural. It feels like I should be doing this. <laughs> I thought I wanted a puppy, a puppy but now I wanted a puppy. I did too. Right there. They're nice so job, cute. Sarah. Yeah.